YouTube, very excited to share a new biometric biomarker. Now, I'm a physician. I've shared multiple biomarkers and biometrics in the past, uh, talking especially about visceral fat and the importance of being aware of it. But I want to tell you one that you can do for free, okay? You don't need to, to do a fancy scan um, for this particular one. What you need to do is take some pictures of your body before you work out and after you work out. If you're a young guy, you're gonna have this big response. And I'm calling this particular test the post-workout muscle pump, okay? It's the muscle pump you get after you work out. If you're an older guy and you're in your 50s, 60s, 70s, and you work out and you're not getting what you used to get when you're 20, this is it. You are, you have lost that post-workout muscle pump. Now, <clears throat> I used to have it when I was in my 20s and my teens. I'd get this nice pump. And I got two teenager, teen, two teenage boys live in my house. And I got all their friends over here. They're all lifting weights because Dr. Sean is a health and performance optimized physician. So I got some nice weights and a nice setup to work at my house so my kids um, are exercising and their friends come over and they're all about doing that. And, and I'm in the gym too. I go to my fitness club and I see the young guys in front of the mirrors. Okay. They're taking the pictures. Why don't you see an old guy in front of the mirror? Why don't you see that? You think it's vanity? No, no. What's going on is young guys get this pump and their brain tells them muy bueno. When you get that pump, it is really good. But you know what's not happening to us older guys? When we work out, if we don't get that pump, we're not hearing something is really wrong because it slowly went away, okay? It's sort of like you lost your money or, or some other, you know, gradual, chronic, sinister loss of some beautiful thing. This muscle pump has gone away. So I, I'm here to tell you, if you're an older guy, take pictures of you before you work out and after you work out. And you want to have basically, not basically, you want to have the same thing you had when you were 20. And you're not going to have it because chronic disease, okay? And specifically, it is the influence and effect of visceral fat on your body. It's a big governor, okay? So here's my photographs, okay? This is me right before I work out and me after, okay? Hopefully, you know, I get these people say, you know, it'd be good if you had better lighting. Yeah, I get, I get there's some little sunshine there and a little bit of shadow there. All right, get over it. If you can't see the difference in that too, I, you know, I probably can't help you. You know, you, you'll probably need some other things to work on. But this is a, to the average person, I think you're going to see that there's a significant change in the short period of time. We're talking the same day. Okay, this is before I work out, after I work out, I get that much of a muscle pump. Now, you should have that, and it should be going on. If you're an older guy and you don't have that, it's, again, it's because of chronic disease and specifically the influence of visceral fat that impedes that, okay? So I got this back. I'm age 60, okay? I, I can't tell you how happy I am I got that back, you know? I, I just kind of gradually start going to the mirrors and take pictures and notice that, and I feel good. It's a great feeling, okay? Your body gets that kind of response, and your brain tells you, muy bueno, because... When you we're meant, when we do good things, we should feel better. We should have a response that says that's a good thing. And you know, looking like this, and look, my whole skin changes. Like everything, everything got better. My ad, although we got this coloration, my abdomen even got uh, got flatter. Everything fills out and improves. Okay, so um, it's a it's a great metric. And uh, here's what it allows allows you to happen. So um, I'm going to blow this up a little bit. This is me. Uh, 2016. Uh, so seven years ago, I was age 53. And this is me age 60. So I put on mass. So here's what I want to tell you. The extent to which you can put on muscle tissue is predicated on this biometric, the post workout muscle pump. If you don't get this, is what I'm hypothesizing, if you don't get that post workout muscle pump, your capacity to put on muscle mass, muscle tissue, is going to be degraded. I'm not saying you can't do it, but I'm saying it's going to be much harder. And so this is why young guys can put on muscle mass. So you get a 17-year-old 
who, who works out the exact same weights, exact same, you do a little experiment, two bars with the exact same weights on it, and they do the same workout, the same reps, the same sets in the same period of time, same time under tension, everything's the same. And they do that for, I don't know, three, six months. The 17 year old will put on muscle, the 60 year old, butt kiss. Because the 60 year old, chances are, is filled with visceral fat. And so that response, that workout is impaired. The benefit of that workout is impaired and attenuated diminished by the presence of visceral fat. So the fact that um, I put on this muscle mass is because I had that, I acquired that capability of getting that post-workout um, muscle pump. Okay, so that, that's a real quick test. So take pictures of yourself before you work out and after you work out, and you'll see that, um, you'll see that benefit. All right, so Look what also happened, okay? So my muscles now perform better, okay? So here I am, my belly's sticking out, and now my belly's flat, you know, because I got rid of my visceral fat, and I don't have a curved spine anymore. Old people, you see them walking around the mall, old people, you see them in church, they got, you know, a crooked spine. I can't even do it. Um, and then young people, nice and straight, up and down, young guys, young girls. Well, this was me developing my crooked look, age 50. Uh, 55, and this is me, age 59, uh, flat abdomen, and look how much better my muscle tones are. And I'm nice and erect because my muscles now are performing better. Okay, and uh, and it's because I got better blood flow. So look at look at my blood flow. How much better better my face got. So age 48, age 50. I say 59 there, but that's truly a typo. That was me age 59. It was from an old post and I put the picture and I forgot to change the editing on it. But that's me um, just just uh, within the uh, past few months, age 59. I'm now 60. But yeah, when you get better blood flow, it changes your whole appearance of your body. And so that blood flow improves your face and that blood flow also creates the capacity for that post-workout muscle pump, okay, that I want to advocate here and test as a new biomarker that nobody else is talking about. And, you know, young people take for granted. But if you're a young person and you're watching this video, it's going to go. You're going to lose it. That pump that you like so much, gone. You eat processed carbohydrates. You exercise, don't exercise correctly. You live a poor lifestyle. You're going to get like every other 60-year-old dude, 50-year-old, 60, 70-year-old, who's not going to have this capability. So you pay attention to my content, please. It's just natural things that we figured out from the National Science Foundation. This is not like, you know, creation from Sean O'Meara. I'd love to think that I created these great, great concepts and strategies. I didn't. I just pay attention to what nature has put out there. All right. So let's take a look at these faces, all right? How long do you think it is between this face and this face, the time period, to produce that kind of a, an improvement? Okay, study it. So this face here, this one of my clients, and the face here. How long is that time period? How long would you say that is? Okay, so now I'm going to give you the answer. Hopefully you had time to think about it. Most people, you know, when I ask this question, I ask it a lot. It's about three, three to six months. The truth is from here to here is just three days. Three days. So what did this guy do to improve his face that much in three days? What did this client do? He did his first 72-hour straight fast in his life. He fasted for the first time 72 hours. So I could take a six-year-old, this guy right here, Daniel. Uh, Daniel is a very smart guy, um, but he had a lot of visceral fat and he got rid of it. He's only 40. Okay. If you take a 70 year, uh, 60, 70 year old guy, you fast them, not just three days, let's say 14 days. They're not going to have this kind of a change in 14 days that Daniel got in three days. The difference, Daniel got rid of his visceral fat. And so when Dan got rid of his visceral fat, and then he is exposed to the stimulus of fasting for three days, it had a dramatic improvement. So, you know, somebody is in their 60s and 70 who fast for for three days, it's not going to have the same response because the impedance, the interference by that visceral fat is going to pair their bit. You take a young person and you, you fast them for three days, they're going to have an even better response than Daniel. 
So it, your, your response to a particular stimulus is predicated on health, how healthy you are as an organism. So let's take a look at that. So it's called the SOR, the Stimulus Organism Response Model. And so what that means is, if you're a bodybuilder, you understand you lift weights, you damage tissue when you lift weights, okay? So the stimulus is the weightlifting on the organism, your, you, the, your body, and the response is hypertrophy, muscle growth, recovery, okay? Stimulus organism response. Now, stimulus, you got a lot of changes you change the plates, you can change how much you're going to lift, change the type of exercise, you can influence that a lot. The organism gets talked about less because that's a big area that we need to improve on. The healthier the organism, the better response. 18 year old right here, getting, you know, no visceral fat, very healthy looking, you know, uh, very, very much in shape. They're going to get a great response. 70 year old filled with visceral fat for their whole life. They're going to suck when they, when that, that weight lifting response, but you take that 70 or 60 year old and you eliminate that visceral fat years before, you know, so that they, they're in good shape. You do that response, then, then they get a good response. So that's how this 60 year old guy is still putting on muscle. And don't you dare think I'm taking any testosterone. I'm doing these videos for free. I'm not doing any hormones. I'm not liver king. I'm not selling supplements and I'm not trying to make money by, you know, pushing something. I'm just telling you, you got to get rid of visceral fat and you got to stop eating processed foods. And so I'm hundred percent natural. And I, I kind of like it when people accuse me of, uh, you know, having facial, you know, plastic surgery and doing hormones and stuff like that. Cause I'm like, well, I'm onto something. Because they just can't believe it. You it's basically say, Dr. Sean, you're unbelievable. <laughs> but um, I do want to push back because we, we need people to be open-minded. That yes, you can get fantastic results as an older man and woman just by living more healthy. And that's what I'm here advocating. Okay, so let's get us more healthy. Get, get your body more healthy. When you get that stimulus lifting weights or you do a fast or you do a sauna or you do a cold shower, then you're going to, and, and you're really healthy, you're going to get a tremendous response. Well, am I saying, does that mean if you're an unhealthy person, you're, you're overweight, you, you're filled with visceral fat, you got disease throughout your body, and so why am I going to just give up because if I lift weights, Dr. Sean says there's going to be no response. No! You need the same things. Those stimulus are the things you need to get rid of that visceral fat. So here's what I tell my clients. They're all excited about initial results. They feel so good. <laughs> Those results are nothing, nothing compared to what is going to happen after you get rid of that visceral sat fat. So your best res response, your best results are going to happen in the future. So when you optimize, it is for the rest of your life. This is not something you play around with like Weight Watchers. You go through a little season of you're going to get, no, I'm talking, I'm talking about optimization where you live your life dramatically different and you optimize and you enjoy a quality of life far superior of what everybody else is doing because by virtue of optimizing, you are improving your body and your body's response, you know, to the same stimulus. So my ROI is like uh, I do the same job, only I collect more money for it. I do the same amount of work, but I'm getting more money for it. Why? Because I have invested in making myself more healthy. That's how you need to look at it. So for the same people doing the same amount of work, doing the sauna, cold showers, uh, weightlifting, uh, fasting, same, same stimulus, but my organism is healthier I'm going to collect more. My ROI is better. So that's how you need to think about it. But again, you do those things and you will eventually get there. So I'm trying to get you to buy in to optimizing yourself and getting yourself uh, more healthy. All right. So let's, <clears throat> let's take a look at the, the biggest offender as that visceral fat. Okay. So here is the scan. Uh, visceral fat is white. All fat is white in the middle. We paint it red. It's very different from subcutaneous fat on the outside. So 
you should, I have a lot of videos on visceral fat and, uh, you know, I have uh, strategies to how to eliminate visceral fat uh, that you can find pinned to my Instagram account. Uh, if you go to Instagram, you can follow me pinned at the top are those strategies. And I also have other videos on visceral fat, but I do want to mention that <clears throat> vis visceral fat and, and highlight what, because I think that is the, the earliest expression of disease and where things go wrong. And that's where I see my clients go to new level once they've got rid of that visceral fat. So um, the take home message of this video is on the post workout muscle pump. Okay, so take pictures of yourself before and after, uh, make comparisons and track it. Here's what you're gonna find. As you eliminate that visceral fat, you're going to get a better pump every time. It will, it will slowly in, over a period of time. You may not be able to detect it in between, but you will over a period of time. And, and how, how long did it take for me? I'm guessing like three to four years of a concerted effort getting rid of that visceral fat before I got that. But um, you know, you, you may be a little different depending on how much visceral fat you have and every, every organism is gonna be at, at a different physiological state, but track it by photographs, absolutely free. Everybody's got cell phones, you take those photographs, pre-workout, photographs post-workout and track it and see how you improve over a period of time. And uh, don't kid yourself. If you're some 60-year-old, I get a post-workout muscle pump. I got a lot of people tell me that, but they, when they show me the photographs, yeah, well, not so much. <laughs> so take the photographs. Don't cheat yourself, okay? You deserve to have that full muscle pump that you got when you're in your 20s. I actually believe at my age 60, that I get a better muscle muscle pump than I've ever remember getting, even when I was younger, lifting weights when I was in my 20s and 30s. So um, that's the kind of a uh, muscle pump that you should be getting extraordinarily uh, significant and different. And you will get that if you optimize your health, get rid of that visceral fat, do my strategies and pin to my Instagram account. And uh, as always, um, if you are somebody who is very motivated and you would like to work with me, I'm looking for motivated people. In particular, I'm looking for C-levels of companies, okay? Influencers, people that run organizations. I wanna biologically optimize you, then I want to do the same thing with your organization. I am no longer just a single practitioner. I am now a startup company, and uh, I got other people, clients that come to me, and we're, we formed a startup, and so, uh, we'd like to take care of you, consider taking care of your company. So uh, if you're an influencer and you're motivated, uh, take a look at my website, www.drshaunomara, D-R-S-E-A-N-O-M-A-R-A. -S -E -A -A. uh, and you know, to take a look at some of my plans and consider working with me. If you know somebody, uh, particularly like a C-level, a CEO, CFO, COO of a self-insured company, we're talking a large company, uh, that they got to pay for the healthcare costs of their employees, uh, send them my video. You put them in touch with me because I'm looking for people that are motivated, who know about key performance indicators, uh, how to optimize a company. I'm going to teach them how to optimize their body, optimize their life. All right. Well, as always, I appreciate the opportunity to share uh, this content. If you like it, give it a like and share it with other people. Uh, the more likes these, this, these videos get, um, uh, the, the more gets, uh, uh, the more money I make. I'm just kidding. You. I haven't made a penny off this. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing with these YouTubes, but, um, no, the more this gets passed around, gets to other people. So they find out about deadly, dangerous, uh, life quality and pairing visceral fat and other important biomarkers and things that need to be aware of. So thank you very much for the opportunity. Smash that like button and hit that subscribe button. And as always, we'll see you on another optimized video. Dr. Sean out.